Looks like a feast for the ages. Is the ace of Vegas, the ace of Vegas. And welcome back to Ace of Vegas, Spinners and Sharks, Ace here, and today we're actually going to go ahead and do something different. Uh, so we actually did get a fan request to go ahead and add a little bit more of the classic My Vegas here, because they like to go ahead and play My Vegas while they're on their PC. So I thought I'd go ahead and check out this quest, the Feast of the Gods quest, because I just realized I have no idea how long it takes while spinning optimally to actually win one of these quests here. So I'm actually ready to go ahead and knock it out of the box, and I'm just going to put on as many spins as I have to. So if you guys aren't familiar with my Vegas quests, um, usually what they are, they're these collection quests that require you to spin a certain amount of times or win a certain amount of chips or what have you, and then you get these collectibles. And then for every time that you achieve a certain goal, you get one of these collectible puzzle pieces, and then you get a reward associated with it. So if you get enough pieces of this puzzle piece over here, you get the full puzzle piece. Then as a reward for this puzzle piece, I'm going to get 200 free loyalty points on top of whatever I've gotten from spinning and leveling up, which is great. Then as it goes forward, if I get the next piece, I get 500,000 chips to replenish my pool. And then same deal with this next piece uh, down here and the next piece up here, so on and so forth until you get to the end of the quest. And sometimes they have a bigger little bonus for you. Sometimes these are daily things. Um, other ones you only get a certain amount of days. So usually you only get about two or three days for these quests here, so we're on our last day. I want to see if we can knock this all out in one day here. And I'm going to go ahead and spin optimally. So for my level, you're looking for about 25,000 to spin. You can argue that it's 50,000 to spin, but we're going to go ahead and play uh, around the world here and see how we do. First, I'm going to go ahead and do my bonus. So I got a flower basket, I got the gloves over here, we got to find the glasses. Pigeons up here, the pencil's always over here, and needless to say, we gotta tag the milk bottle right down here. No problem. Alright, we got 17 free spins, and we'll get 400,000 chips to get ahead and down to our loyalty pool. I like it around the world the best because this game actually replenishes your uh, chip total after you've gotten around the world and you learn how quickly you've done So it gives you free spins at the end of it, and then it also replenishes it with a bonus too. So it's the most consistent game that I've found. So if you guys are looking for a consistent My Vegas game on PC, it would be, well, around the world. I would also say Lucky Birds, because that one basically plays itself and it's fairly consistent, but that one's been removed, so around the world is my game. We'll go ahead and skip to the end here. Alright, so we won 400,000 on that one there. And then we also got another 475,000 to go ahead and add to our chip total. So we're going to be starting with something like nearly... 540 million chips. I'm sure you guys remember last time that we did this. Um, I actually bought some chips to go ahead and see what happens when you hit the $100 threshold, and not much happened. It doesn't happen until you hit like the $120 threshold, as it turns out. Um, but now we actually get to go ahead and use these. So we're going to go ahead and set this to the optimal bet. Put 500 spins on, we're going to set it and forget it. We're also going to wait for these pieces over here. I don't know how many of these we got to get. All right, looks like we only need 10 of these. And it looks like we gotta do a bonus. Let's do the bonus real quick, guys. All right, so we got the lion carving over here. We're gonna hit the fossil. We wanna hit the alligator too. The draft model's in the same area. Dog's on the end, and the medallion is always on the table. Boom, three days, done. Let's keep it moving. And I really wish there was a way to turbo out the spins on this game. It's not like wind slots, you can't just hit the lightning bolt and they go faster, you just gotta keep rolling. Winner, winner, chicken dinner! And I guess we're in India, so chicken tandoori, I suppose? Which is actually really awesome. Probably my favorite Indian dish, so. Good news is we're not seeing a significant drop in chips yet. I suspect we will, uh, see a significant drop in chips as we progress this uh, experiment here. Alright, let's proceed. Right, so we got a mouse down here eating the grapes. There's a tent, there's an eagle up over here. Now there's a wine bottle down here. I can't remember where the crowbar is. And then we have the sun. This is on the so, okay, cool. Let's keep it moving. Yeah. 
Turned out to be 182 spins, but that's okay, and we got ourselves a sum total of 200 the loyalty points. Let's go ahead and keep going. So our first piece out of 28 spins over here. So I suspect this is going to be 28 times 10 would be 280. Oh, we're looking at 560 spins, guys. So our next round will have our second piece, and I suspect this is going to double and double here. We'll see what happens. So I think on the bright side so far, we haven't really lost any chips, so that's been pretty nice. So we've been able to maintain the bankroll here. Which is probably my favorite bit about this game. Three is a magic number. Yes, it is. And that's what we got by. Ah, oh, man, India is the hardest to get through. Alright, so we got the hammer over here. We got the telescope in the back. Buddha's in the back over here. We got a mouse up here. Tiger's right next to him. And of course, we ride our bicycle. I'm not sure why I sang that. Only well, done got seven pieces so far here. Already gone through another 180 spins. Darn well near 60 spins. It's been rough. Okay, so it looks like we got 13 within the first 500 spins here, in addition to completing a puzzle piece. Oy vey. Okay, we only got seven more to go. Let's go, guys. Let's go. You know, I'm going through these three spins over here, I'm about 17 into this puzzle piece, and I'm starting to really notice a chip deficit here. I'm down um, about 2 million chips from when, I'm, when I started this whole experiment, so I'm hoping this picks back up, but I'm already down to me, 2 million chips, and I'm only 2 puzzle pieces in, so I'm not sure how much longer I'll be able to sustain this at this rate. And we got another one! Alright, that was a 3 Yeah, that one took about 500 spins here, so I suspect the next one's going to take about 1,000 spins here. Alright, so here's hoping for the next puzzle piece there. Um, we can do that uh, 20 on the spins. So, we'll go ahead and see how we do. I bet you it's going to take like 30 of what we're gonna see. Oh my god, we need 50 of these things? I swear you gotta more and more through the machine. It's like 30 per piece now. Okay guys, so after a thousand spins, we are about 24% into the third piece and gotten our first two. It's taken us over an hour to get this far. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed through it so you guys don't have to sit through the whole thing and we'll go ahead and see how we're doing. We're already at like a 3 million chip deficit, so let's see if we can maintain this. So I checked my loyalty meter and um, before these free spins, this stopped going up, so it looks like I already hit my limit as far as loyalty points that I'm earning. I'm still getting experience points, thankfully, and you still get uh, experience, uh, excuse me, loyalty points for experience points. Uh, our loyalty point meter is still going to continue to go up, but this is no longer beneficial for me to continue doing this. I'm going to finish it for the experiment, guys, but I think we're going to go ahead and do a little something different as we've got through these last five minutes here. Now, I think I might actually end up with uh, 30 of these things by the end of these spins, so that means that 500 is good for 20. So another 500 is uh, only good for another uh, another 20 here, and I'm not sure about this, guys. I'm not sure. I don't know. Let's keep spinning, guys. Let's keep playing. This one tells me I would have picked 40 spins at uh, 25,000 to be able to pull this off, guys. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Let's keep spinning spinners and sharks. <sighs> Ooh. And I, I, I literally fell asleep trying to figure out what was going on here. I don't know how many more of these pieces we can find. Yeah, I don't know. This might take another full 500, guys. 500 to go. Let's go. Oh, good lord. A hundred of them to figure out if it's Mjolnir or Stormbreaker? You're kidding me. Oh, it's a half-eating ham. Oh, we're spinning at a uh, hundred spins. 
100,000 per spin. It's been out 10 spins already. 11. Okay, so it looks like 11 spins. That's 11 times 100 of those. That's 1,100. That's some pretty simple math. Okay, I guess we're going to go ahead and do 1,100 more spins, guys. Yeah, I think we're going to need another 200 to finish this one off, guys. Okay, I think we got like four more spins to go. Then we'll have our hundredth piece, and then we'll be in good shape. And that's it, guys! The challenge has been decided! Ooh, that was a tough one there. Alright, well, I think that is just about it. This is the first time on the channel we've actually finished one of these contests here. And I think I know why we uh, don't do these puzzle quests very often. We'll talk about it another time. Uh, yeah, we'll talk about that another time. But until then, I'm going to have to get some rest. I'm going to crack open a cold one and then uh, call it a good night. So... Anyway, Ace of Vegas is signing out, strong hands, and uh, happy spinning, you guys.